Okay, so this is Mrs. Murphy, and we're going to do a little walkthrough demonstration of the slot machine code. Starts off, it's like a little slot machine. You have three numbers here, and I can click anywhere on the screen, and I get if you get three in a row, you win 12 tokens. If you don't get three in a row, then you're going to lose your token. Um, if you get two in a row, you win six tokens. So you go through, and I've actually slightly made this in my favor because there's the only a random number between one and three, so odds are I'm going to win in this situation. Uh, but that's okay. Let's kind of show you the code for this project. Okay, so the first thing you do is you open up the mycode.java and you want to rename my code to say slot machine. Now don't forget down in the main, you'll also need to rename that my code to say slot machine. In your variable section, we'll want three variables for the three random numbers that change. So I just called them slots, so a I for int, because they're whole numbers, they're going to be no decimal places, and I just called them I slot one, I slot two, and I slot three, and I started them all out at zero. I gave you some tokens to begin with, and there are ints as well, so they start out at zero. Then I have this message, and at first it just says slot machine, click to play, but later on it will display you win, or you lose, or you got two points, or what have you. Have you. Now I adjusted a couple of the window properties, because I wasn't using all of that real estate of 800 by 500, so I switched it to 400 by 300. Then I made the title say slot machine, and we're not using the timer at all in this project, so I left that alone. Then I drew them on the screen, here it will tell us how many tokens we have. Then it draws the message on the screen, so it says either you win, you lose, or what have you, and it has location. This is a new command. If you want to try it out, you're welcome to. If you don't want to, want to leave the default font, you can. But it just shows you how to change the font. So I changed the font to a 64 size and bold. So when it draws these three numbers, that's how I got them so big. Okay, so now this time we use the mouse press event. So anytime they press the mouse, it would make the, the, it was as if you were pulling the slot machine. So now all I've done is I've changed my three variables and I've used the random generator and generated a random number that has a range of three starting at one. So it's a random number between one and three. Now I made the odds on this pretty, you know, it's slightly in your favor. We should probably up that just a bit. So I'm going to do like um, maybe 10. Now the odds are no longer in your favor. So this time, when you run the, if I were to compile and run this, you can see, and now it's a little harder. Wow, I am doing awesome. Uh, all right, there we go. Now I'm losing. Okay, so there, now you can see the odds are less in your favor because it's random number between 1 and 10, and the odds are not quite. All right, anyway, so now. Um, we have an if statement to determine if you've won or if you haven't. So here I have an if statement and I'm using both the AND and the OR operators to kind of show you how they work. So this one's saying if slot 1 is equal to slot 2 and slot 2 is equal to slot 3, that means both of those conditions have to be correct for it to execute this code. And if that situation is true, all three of those slots would be equal and they would win 12 tokens and it would show the message you win. Next we did, if 1 is equal to 2, 2 is equal to 3, and 1 is equal to 3, it would show, it would give them 6 points and say they got 2. And then this shows what they, anything else is a losing situation. Okay, so that's kind of a rundown of the code. Good luck with the homework.